You know, ladies and gentlemen, lately we've been talking about all the great players from the Campbellton region that kind of uh, flew into great prom prominence in the 1990s. Alan Roy, Corey LaRose, uh, Gordy Dwyer, uh, John LeBlanc, Jeff Winchester. But this guy probably was one of the best goalies to come out of the city uh, in decades. And Dave Arsenault. Uh, continues to hold a distinction to be one of the highest drafted players uh, in the, for the NHL in Rustigush County history. Now, Dave Arsenault, 6'1", 178, uh, was, uh, was born in Frankfurt, Germany, but he spent most of his uh, main years in the Calton region. He got his big breakthrough, ladies and gentlemen, with Drummondville of the QMJHL in 1995. The Red Wings had scuttered him, and after an okay season where he had a 5.18 average with 5 wins and 15 losses and 3 games in the playoffs, Detroit just, uh, took a chance on him. Now, uh, next season he stayed with Drumbeville, but ended up with Shikutubi, uh, Sagne of the Q, combined record at year 9-11-2, so uh, a slight improvement. But his big season, ladies and gentlemen, came with the Oshawa Generals in 97. He was one of the OHL's uh, top players with a 24-9-5 record. Now, there was hopes that Arsenal was going to make the NHL, but unfortunately uh, he didn't. But he did have a, a good minor pro career for a few seasons. In 98, he ended up with the uh, very popular Toledo Storm of the ECHL with a 13-4-3 record with a very classy 2.85 average. Now, he did make uh, the Red Wings main affiliate in the AHL later that season with... Uh, uh, 10 games with a 3-5 and five record. He did uh, play some in Adirondack again in 99, but played the majority of the 99 season with the Toledo Storm yet again with a 10-8-1 record with a, a very respectable 3.69 average. 2000, he ended up with the Louisiana Ice Skaters with a 14-6-1 record and uh, played 26 games. Now, with the United Hockey League, that's where he wrapped up his official uh, minor pro career, although he did play for other elite teams uh, during the uh, decade. 2001 with the Missouri River Otters of UHL, he had an 8 3 and 1 record. Now, what's really significant for me, ladies and gentlemen, when he was a giving in a regular turn between the pipes, he had winning records. Now, I know the ECHL and the UHL are not the AHL, but you know, with uh, Toledo, he uh, won 23 games over two seasons with only 12 losses. And the EHL record uh, with Louisiana was strong as well. But he was good on the angles. He was good, uh, a good general on the ice as a goalie. And I think he's probably uh, a type of player that a lot of uh, Camelton region skaters look up to because, you know, he played in two of the biggest major junior leagues in world history. He played in... Um, uh, three of the most respected minor pro leagues and for just a young guy from Calton. Like he was only 18 years old when he was playing with Drumville, ladies and gentlemen. Or just turned 18 in the second half of the season. That's pretty impressive. And like I said, he was part of that golden era of Camelton where all these uh, players, uh, you know, Corey Lowe's through the main system, Gordy through uh, the second draft with Montreal, John LeBlanc was still strong as a minor pro and, you know, with Winnipeg, Vancouver, in Edmonton, Alan Roy, uh, you know, university career with also Team Canada. So if you were a journalist in North New Brunswick from 89 to 99, you had all these great hometown heroes got to cover. And Gordy Dwyer and I talked about that once. He said, you know, this is a golden time. And it was because, uh, you know, uh, uh, previously we've had players from Gamilton who succeeded at senior hockey. And uh, another thing I would want to mention too, I'm just talking about Camelton, but you had people like, Adam Carter out of Dalhousie, Jeff Winchester, uh, Jason Parker. There was a lot of good minor pros or university stars. 1980 was a university success for most people from the North Shore, but for some reason, in the 1990s into the 2000s, the pros were calling and boys, we answered the call. So Dave Arsenal, part of a very, very important era in Campbellton sports. And, uh, you know, it was my honor to cover him for the Campbellton Tribune especially the Oshawa general season where he was considered, again, one of the better goalies in the OHL 
in the mid-1990s. So, thanks for listening. Have a good evening. Bye.